I just move in spots and I realized that I haven't done an intro for this video. So welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. I'm Clayton Schick. This is the outdoors. And uh, I already know some of the outcome of this video because I started a few hours ago fishing for walleye with Ned Riggs right here. Look at this little guy, this little guy is so cute. Anyways, like I say, I already know some of this outcome of this video. And the first little bit is pretty good because I had a good start. So uh, yeah, here we go. Walleye fishing with Ned Riggs, baby. Let's do it, not gonna lie. We will not be having any uh, electronics today on this video shots. It's just a lot of wind and it's just making my screens a disaster. So we'll go without any hummingbird shots today. Hopefully we can uh, make it happen. We're just gonna move lots, work some shoreline, etc. Look for some big hungry walleyes. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Only was like the second or third cast, maybe third cast. And I could bomb them out there. I'm definitely using a little bit heavier setup or heavier jig, I should say, just so I can make some long casts with it being windy. I'm trying to fish a little bit deeper water too, but that's my first walleye ever on the Ned rig, not the Ned minnow or whatever. Like I've used it, I've been using the Ned rig lots this year but the actual, like the worm, nice. Uh, I can probably grab you. I should be, ooh, I should have net you. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Like I said, first one on the worm, the Ned worm, which guys use for bass all the time. Nice. Oh, I think we're gonna have some fun with this for sure. Nice 20 inch fish probably, deadly. Amazing, like I said, I was casting like, way up there too way up there 3 16th ounce jig falls quick all i'm doing is hucking it up and then kind of pull until it's tight and giving it a pop letting it settle down pull until it's tight pop it let it settle down and then at that time when i went to go pull when it's tight just before i popped it i could feel there was some weight so i jacked it i just got some other ned rig stuff to play with so i'll show it all off what i'm using here at some point but I've got some stuff now from Yum, and of course, Savage Gear. Sa sar did I say Savage Gear? Savage Gear. Okay, so reel till it's tight, pop it. Let it sink down and set for a sec, reel till it's tight, pop it. Let it sink for a second, pull or reel till it's tight, pop it. Let it sink. And I think the biggest thing is too, when you feel weight, give it a good hook set, like bury that hook in there. Pop it, let it settle. Pop it, let it settle. Bring it until it's tight, pop it, let it settle. Just do this over and over and over. Nice, that one I actually saw the rod tip. I felt it too, but I was watching my rod tip. Amazing. Oh, you don't need bait all the time for walleye. You can crush them on artificials too. I like doing a little bit of everything, of course, but amazing, amazing. Okay, we won't try to flip you. We'll actually, we'll actually net you, my friend. We'll actually net you. Amazing. Nice fish, nice fish. Nice fish. And it's just hammered, like hammered. Awesome. Awesome. This Ned Rig stuff is the real deal. I'm curious. Let's get a quick measurement on you. I'm just curious here. I'd say 20 ish. Yeah, a little shy. Yeah, 19 and 3 quarters. Awesome. Well, it took three casts to kind of find a good technique, but that's two casts in a row now back to back and i'm zinging them out there like you could chuck this so much farther than you can leeches or bait because it's not going to fall off like take advantage bomb it out there let it settle down like i said 316th ounce this time because it's a little bit windier 
and when it's windier it's harder to feel and i'm also fishing a little bit deeper i'm sitting at 15 feet right now pop it let it sit so good pop it let it sit the upsides of this has compared to like a regular soft plastic if you're fishing in mud and weeds and all that garbage it's going to drag to the bottom and the fish might not even see it with that floating plastic it just kind of tips up just ever so slightly and it's like i don't know i've how should i say this i <laughs> i don't know what gave me the idea exactly to start trying some of this for walleyes i i obviously have i've heard of people doing it a little bit i just had to try it and yeah it's it's legit that is just for the record three fish and three casts that now i've kind of found where they are or how to work the jig the jig the worm the worm the worm working the worm let's catch one more and i'll show you exactly what i'm using and give you some options of how to get some for yourself okay let's see if we can go four for four bombing them bombing them bombing them Oh, I was almost running out of room. I caught him right behind the boat. I was running out of room. I was literally about to turn around and say, I didn't catch one on the fourth cast, but I caught it right behind the boat. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We just went four for four. Now, yeah, I'm taking my time bringing them in. Not going to lie. Don't work them too quick. I think that's probably the biggest mistake you can make. Let it sit there sometimes for five, ten seconds. Don't work it in too quick, but we just went four for four. Okay, let's show a few things here in the shade. See if I can get some good lighting. First of all, these are the hooks I'm using. Savage Ned Head. And like I said, today I'm using a 3 16th ounce, a little bit heavier. Now, I'm using two different companies. I'm using the Savage Gear ones. These are the Ned Minnows, uh, which I have rigged up another rod. I just haven't used it today. And this is a Yum Ned Dinger, a Ned Dinger. Now you can get actually these yums in a starter pack, a 17 pack, and there's different color options, but you can't see here. It's hard to see because of the sun, but this is a Ned Minnow, this is a Craw, and this is the Dinger right here on the bottom. Hard to see, I got horrible light, I'm sorry. But there's a bunch of different options for that, right? Like, I'm still playing around with everything. So some other options here, this is like my little pack that I love here, my little tote. I use the, these Kalins, these are actually, these aren't Ned Rig style. So these are like other soft plastics that I'm gonna be using in the future here. But then my Savage Gear stuff, these are like the Ned Craws. And they got some kind of, I don't know, lizard thing. And then like I said, the Ned Minnows. And then Yum, I actually have some other options here, which is the Ned Minnows as well, which I'm gonna play with a little bit later today too. So many little goodies. I got like one package of each color of these to try out and see what's what's good and what's not but yeah these are these are awesome i will leave links below where to find all of this stuff the yum stuff here you can actually get it on lure lurenet.com and actually if you use code clayton15 you can save yourself 15 percent off of yum plus they have a bunch of other stuff in there from lindy stuff i use this summer like bomber or sorry summer this winter bomber spoons they have a bunch of different companies on there Unfortunately, it's only only shipped to the States. I know they're working on something for Canada, but then the Savage Gear stuff also is linked below. I know I'm, it's like two different things here at once, but there's so many different companies that obviously make wicked stuff. I know Z-Man makes awesome uh, Ned Rig stuff. I know they're plastic. I've heard people talk about a lot. It's really good. I, it's all new to me, so I don't really know a lot or a big list off the top of my head, but I know there's lots of different companies that make it. The question is, can we go five for five? no we didn't do five for five four was the limit four was the limit nice 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 right on that drop off amazing 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 way out there too long cast just work it back in feels decent feels actually really good wow this fish feels good this fish got weight Fish got lots of weight. It's a good one. It's a good fish. 
This is a good fish. Oh baby. Oh baby. Maybe not maybe not giant, but not small. Not small. Not small. Oh, definitely a nice fish. Definitely a nice fish. Come on, buddy. Ooh, chikai, 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 chikai. Chikai. Come on, come on. And saw the net and it didn't like it. That's a good one. Nice. Amazing. This rig is smashing them. Well, made a small move. A little bit deeper, about 18 feet of water right now. Solid 21 incher probably. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice, 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 nice. Awesome. I can't believe how good this is. I really can't. This is it's incredible how good this is. What a technique. Can't believe I've never done this before. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Another beautiful fish. Another beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Another solid, solid fish. Okay, I'm back actually where I started. I'm just going to push my talon to the extreme right now because they got bad sun so I don't want to hold with the trolling motor so I kind of anchored up here in the middle gonna cast all around I spent the last hour and a half two hours I think looking around I caught one fish which I'll roll that clip now nice 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 almost got handcuffed on that fish I saw a little bit of a transition here on the shore so I thought I might as well throw a few casts out here and bang like I said I almost got handcuffed on that one Nice fish though, nice fish. Just trying some new areas right now, moving around a little bit and slow down a little bit, but not because they're not biting, just because I can't find them at the moment. But another quality fish. Nice, there we go, there we go. So that was the only fish that I caught in that last, I don't know, hour and a half, something like that, looking around. I found that fish on a transition, which I talked about a little bit in the clip, but I'm back where I started. It was really windy that way. It was gross. I'm kind of tucked behind a little bit of a point here. Going to fish for a little bit more and then try some other stuff kind of on my way home here. But I still been fishing the Ned rig. I am going to switch actually to the Ned minnow for a little bit which I have some experience with. I'll try the Ned Minnow from Yum here at some point, probably tonight too. And if I don't, I know I'll be fishing with these a lot more, so I'll be using it no matter what. But I'm going to put the 360 down again and uh, just bomb some casts out and see if we can lay a licking on some more walleye. It's kind of weird, I just did my intro, which you've obviously seen 10, 15 minutes ago, however long this video has been so far. And it's weird doing the intro midway through the video knowing what's already happened i couldn't like there it was weird i didn't have that like i don't know like that whole like uh that question like am i gonna do good today what's it gonna be like like i already know i've slammed them so it was kind of like i was making a fake intro it felt like the whole time but yeah anyways enough rambling you guys want to see me fish okay ned minnow time Ooh, there's fish everywhere here which way should i cast first Nice, 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 nice. First cast, first cast back at spot one. Feels decent too, feels decent. Kind of got me at an awkward angle here. Come on, come up from underneath that boat, my friend. Come on, where'd you go? There you go, first cast. Shows you like when they're stacked, they're stacked. I fish, fished and looked in a bunch of different areas and this has definitely been the best spot. Like just loaded. Definitely a nice one. Almost slopped out of my hand. Not giant, but not small. Oh, bunch of fish. Front left. Right into the sun, of course. Bunch of fish, front left. Oh, right there. Awesome. Ended up being front left, just a little bit closer to the boat. This has been the smallest fish of the day. I finally caught a small one. 
Pretty impressive that this is the smallest fish of the day. Or my first little guy, I should say. Awesome. Just, just awesome. Definitely feel like I'm a little bit too shallow right now. It's a little bit deeper bite with the being colder. I should be spot locked right now, a little bit deeper. It's easier to like work your jig down than it is up the slope too. Just when you're coming up, you get snagged a lot more than when you come down the slope, I find. I'm gonna try one more cast out here, but I think I'm going to spot lock myself though anyway, even though I might have a bad angle with the sun, with the main camera. I'll still have the head, the head camera angle. I just feel like I'm a little bit too shallow right now for the way the water temps are. Not to say there won't be some fish up here, but I can still reach this area by casting when I'm deeper, but it's harder to fish the deeper stuff from the shallow. It's easier to fish the shallow stuff when you're deeper, if that makes sense, than it is to fish the deeper stuff when you're shallow. I apologize for the crappy angle, but if I smash a monster, I still got the head camera, which is the right angle that I want. And then uh, I can easily turn that camera around to show the fish off. So I'm a little bit deeper right now, 17 feet. Obviously my talon only goes to 15 feet. So that's why I'm not taloned. Nice, 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 nice. Handcuffed me a little bit just cause I wasn't sure if it was a fish or the bottom, but it feels good. First cast getting deeper, of course, right? It's all it took, it's all it took. I wonder if I can boat flip you. Be close. I'll just grab the line. Oh, easy. Easy. I'll just grab the line. Let's grab the line. In the bottom. In the bottom. Oh, it's kind of in the mouth. Oh, yeah. Bad angle. Never mind. Here, I'll show you the head camera. Oh, beautiful. Having patience and working this lure slow is definitely the biggest. The biggest battle you can't reel it in too quick or you'll never be in the strike zone staying in the strike zone is everything you gotta stay in the strike zone it's a really good shirt idea stay in the strike zone fish the strike zone oh, right there hardly moving in why because we are fishing the strike zone I'm gonna make that shirt. I'm gonna make some merch. Fish the strike zone. Totally. Amazing. 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 Not uh, not the quality that was here before, but still not a bad fish. Yeah! Blunk. He was flopping, so we just let him go. Fish pretty much came from the same area. And where was he? He was in the strike zone. One more cast here, and I think we're gonna actually go try uh, some other spots. Let's go see what else is out there. One more cast. Oh, what is that? What is that? It's probably a bike. Whatever it is, we just caught it. <laughs> Whatever it is, we just caught it. That is wicked. I don't know if it's for sure it's what I saw in the side imaging, but <laughs> that was crazy. Spot lock, spot lock. <laughs> wow. Saw it on the side imaging, cast it out. A couple twitches later, fish on. Definitely feels decent. Feels decent. It's not small. It's not small. Nice. Decent walleye for sure. For sure. So cool. <laughs> Just cruising the shoreline slowly. All of a sudden, I was like, ooh, that looks really good on the side imaging. Cast out. Bang. Back to a nice average size here. Horrible sun angle. Although it could look really cool. Look at that. Sun, sunset. Where's it going? I can't find that sun anymore. Anyways, here we go. Nice uh, 20 inch here probably. Nice. 
nice. Right below the boat. Right below the boat. Descent. Descent. Decent fish. Decent fish. Nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that at all. Not gonna lie, the end of the night kind of snuck up on me a little bit. Like, as in, I spent more time looking around than I did fishing, and it's probably a little bit shorter video, so I apologize in that sense. But I will be doing some more videos with the Ned Rig at some point for sure, because I love it. I honestly think it is such a killer for walleye. I can't believe it's taking me this long to use it. So anyways, I appreciate everybody for watching. Like I said, I know it's a little bit of a shorter video, but thank you so much. Lots of videos to come this summer. We're gonna crank them out. Appreciate it as always. Thank you, and don't forget, get outside.